This story is brought to you by the Denton County Transportation Authority. My name is Brittany, and today we're reading Rosa Parks Takes the Bus by Karen Clopton Dunson. At daybreak, Rosa Parks woke up and slowly got out of bed. She soaked in her bubbly bath, then off to work she fled. She stood patiently on the corner and waited for the bus. Pay your fare and step to the back, she heard the driver fuss. Rosa climbed aboard the bus and headed towards the back. The front seats were for whites. Blacks sat in the back. Off the bus she leaped, then into the shop she sped. Rosa sat down for work with a needle and some thread. She sewed flowers on a dress, stitched buttons on a shirt, added lace to a gown, and a poodle to a skirt. She patched up fancy pants, dapper suits she mended too. Some garments were so holy, she could slip her whole arm through. Rosa stitched and stitched and stitched. Seamstresses thought her work was great. She made old clothes look brand new. Plus, her hems were always straight. Rosa double-checked the clothes, making sure she sewed each one, then put away her sewing kit since all her work was done. She happily waved goodbye as she left the sewing shop and walked down the street to the nearest bus stop. On the bus, Rosa stepped she spotted an empty seat, but it wasn't in the back. She sat down to rest her feet. A white man wanted to sit, so he asked Rosa to rise. Politely, she said no. It took him by surprise. Since Rosa would not move, the bus driver came to a stop. If you won't give up your seat, I will have to call a cop. Soon Rosa got off the bus with a cop on her trail. Saying no to the bus driver landed her in jail. People whispered, made phone calls, and talked to their peers. The news about Rosa made some of them shed tears. The blacks called a meeting. Everyone had a chance to talk. They decided on a bus protest. They would drive, bike, or walk. They walked in the blazing heat. They walked on a blustery day. They walked over hills when the sky was cloudy and gray. They walked and walked from morning to late at night. They would not ride the bus until unfair laws were made right. The buses were almost empty. This made the drivers nervous. If they didn't collect more money, the buses would go out of service. After days, weeks, and months of walking, the bus laws were made new. The blacks didn't sit in the back unless they wanted to. Thank you, Rosa Parks, for being brave and polite. Because you sat down, the bus laws were made right. The end.